In this video tutorial, I'm going to take you through the process of creating a table of figures within your Microsoft Word document. I'm using Microsoft Word for Mac, but if you are a Windows user, then the process is the same. So you'll still be able to follow along with this particular tutorial. Adding a table of figures is a really nice way to list all of the different images in your document, but it might actually be a requirement if, for example, you're producing a thesis or a dissertation. And the benefit of creating a table of contents, well, there's quite a few benefits. The first one is that it will automatically create the table of contents based on the labels you give to your images within your document. So if you had 50 different images, you can add 50 captions and produce this table in seconds. So you don't need to manually type figure one, then the name of the caption, figure two, then the name of the caption and the page numbers. The second benefit is that it automatically lists the page numbers here. So if this image is on page four, it will list it as page four. If it's on page 10, it will list it as page 10. As well as that, if we delete any images and captions, then when we update our table, it will remove them from here. If we change the label for the caption, it will automatically update it here. And if we move the page number that the image resides on, it will automatically change here. The final benefit is that if your viewer is viewing the document in Microsoft Word or as a PDF, then these are actually clickable. So they act as hyperlinks between this table and the actual image. So if I click on B&W Bridge, you'll see that it takes me to this point in the document where we have that image. If I click on the page number for looking out to see, it takes me to page four and that particular image. So let me show you how we can create our table of figures within our Microsoft Word document. Now I have a blank document on screen here and before we can generate our table of figures, we first have to add a caption to our images. I'm gonna scroll down and I've already got three images in place in this document. Now, if you're not familiar with how to insert and format images in your Microsoft Word document, I'm not gonna cover that just now, but I have a handy video which I'll link to above and I'll pop in the description showing you how to insert and work with images in Microsoft Word. So do check that out before trying to follow along here. But in this case, I've got my image. Now, most commonly, if you're not using the method I'm gonna show here, most users will type something like figure one bridge seen at night time, something like that, okay? Now there's nothing wrong with doing this, but the problem is you then have to go to your next image and add a caption in the same way. But if you want to create a table of contents for this, so a table of figures, you need to type all of them out manually and that takes a long time. So instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to make use of the insert caption feature within Microsoft Word. Now you can either click on your image and then go up to references and choose insert caption from this group here, or you can right click on the image and choose insert caption this way. What this does is it looks through the document and it works out if you have already applied a caption using this method to an image in the document before. In this case, we haven't, and that's why it lists it as figure one. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a space and a little hyphen, and I'm gonna type the label that I want to appear below this image. So I'm gonna put nighttime bridge scene, and then I have further options below this. So I have the label here, which can be an equation, a figure, or table. So you can actually create table of equations, table of figures, or table of tables. If, for example, you want to create your own label though, you can go into where it says new label and you can put something like if I want it to be picture. So I could put picture, okay, and then you'll see it's now called picture one. Now, if I go to the menu here and try to select figure and then delete, you'll see it doesn't let you delete. You can only delete labels that you have created. So if I choose delete label, it then deletes that label. So these three here are there by default and they cannot be deleted, but you can create as many other labels as you want. Position allows you to choose whether or not you want it to be positioned below or above the image. So if I choose above, it will put the caption up here. And if I choose below, which is a default, it will appear below here. Next to that, we have formatting. So you can change the formatting of the numbering system. So if I go into format here, I can say, well, do I want to format it as one, two, three, 
or how about maybe A, B, C? So it'll say, if I click OK, figure A, figure B, figure C. I'll go back into format though and I'll just change that back to the standard numbering. You can also include things like chapter numbers here and you can change the separators for your chapter numbers if you want to. The default is just a hyphen. Now what I want to do is just to highlight one last option which is exclude label from caption. So instead of your label saying figure one, nighttime bridge scene, you can exclude that and it will just say one, nighttime bridge scene. If it was um, table, it would just say one instead of table one. So I'm going to change it to figure, I'm going to leave that one off and I'm going to click OK and you will see it has applied this caption to my image below the image as requested. It's actually using a style here. So if I click on it, you will see it has made use of this caption style within my document style pane. So if I click in here, I can right click and modify. And if I want to, I can change how this is displayed. So maybe I want my captions to be displayed in orange. I can click OK and then any time that caption style is used, it will display it in orange. If you want to learn more about working with styles in your document, which allow you to do things like create an automatic table of content, then check out this video using the link above or in my description where I talk about how to apply styles to text in Microsoft Word. So we have the first caption here and you'll notice if I select it all, we get a gray box around the number and that lets me know that I have used the insert caption option here and not just type text and then apply the style to the text. I'm gonna scroll down to my next image now and I'm gonna repeat that process. So I'll right click on the image I'll go down to insert caption and Microsoft Word is now looking through the document and it knows I have already used insert caption on one image. So it's automatically changing this to figure two. Now all I'll do is type in uh, B and W bridge. And then I'm not going to change any settings here just to save time. So I'll click OK and I'll scroll down to my third image, this one here, insert caption and I'll put looking out to C, then click OK. So now we have three different figures attached to our images. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and I'm going to position the cursor where I want my table of figures to go. Now manually, I would have to type figure one dash and the label of the first image, then put lots of separators in and then put the page number, but automatically by going to references and insert table of figures, I can insert a table straight away into my document in seconds. So within table of figures, if it was a table of equations, I could change it to that or to table of tables. I'm gonna go for a table of figures. And then the format here lets you change how it appears. So from template, we'll just use a standard template format, but you can change it to classic, distinctive, you can change it to simple. I'll leave it as from template. And then you have a couple of further options here. So if you don't want the label and number to appear, you can turn that off and it basically just has your caption that you typed, okay, like this and the page number. But I'm going to leave that one on because I think it looks better like this. You can toggle off page numbers. So if you don't want the page number to be displayed, but I think in this case it's best to leave that on. And then you can do things like change the alignment of the images, but again, now they're right next to this text, I prefer to leave that one on. And you'll see the thing here, which is called the tab leader. This is the dots between the text and the page numbers. You can change that in here. So you could have a solid line, a dashed line, or a dotted line. Or if you don't want to have anything, you can turn it off. But I always think these just make it a little bit easier for the user to check along the line and make sure they're on the right page. Lastly, you have this option here. It says use links instead of page numbers. So you can turn that one off and that will basically stop them from being hyperlinks, but we want it to be links. So I'm going to leave that in. If you want to make any changes to your table in terms of the appearance, you can go into modify. And then what you can do in here is you can modify the look and feel of your table of figures. But for now, I'm going to just click OK, leave it as it is. Now that we have set up our table of figures, all we need to do is click OK and the table of figures has been produced and inserted into our document where we clicked. As I demonstrated at the beginning of the video, if we click on the caption label or the number, it will take us to that particular point in our document. Now I mentioned at the very beginning, if you make any changes to either the labels or to the pages that the images reside on, 
you can have this table automatically update. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, let's move this image here to another page. So I'm going to put a page return in here using command and enter. Now that image is actually living on this page here, which as you see at the bottom, it tells us is page three. But up here, it says it's page two. Well, what we can do is we can right click on this table of figures, go to update field, and it will update once we either choose to update only the page numbers or the entire table. I'll just do the page numbers because that's the only thing that's changed. And you'll see it now changes it to page three, four, and five instead of two, three, and four because everything has moved down by one page. If I scroll down though, let's make a change to the actual label. So here it says nighttime bridge scene. Maybe I just want it to say nighttime bridge. So I'm gonna make a change in here and then I'm gonna scroll up. I'm gonna right click into the table, update field. This time I'm gonna update the entire table because we've changed the label, not just the numbers. Click okay and it now changes it to nighttime bridge. Now the final thing I want to show you is if you deleted an image, how do you update your table and all of the captions for all of the other images within your document? So let's say for example, if I delete this image here, black and white bridge, if I delete the caption by selecting all and then pressing the delete key and then delete the image, you'll see that the image below, which is figure three, will actually now be the second image in the document and this should read figure two. What I can do is I can right click and update the field, which will change that from figure three to figure two. And then I could go back up to the table of figures, right click, update. But the problem with that is that's okay if we just have a couple of images. But if you had hundreds of images, you would have to follow that process by right clicking on the caption for every single image to update them one by one. But there's a much quicker way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use command A to select everything in the entire document and you'll see as I scroll down, everything is now selected. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use F9. F9 will update everything in the entire document and you will see it has removed the second one. So we've got figure one, page three, figure three, page five. But the problem here is figure three has actually now become figure two, but it's not reflected in this table at the top. So the final thing I need to do is right click on the table, update field, and then I like to update the entire table once more, click OK, and that will change to figure two. So before you print your document out, I would do Command A or Control A to select everything. I would use F9 to update all of these little caption fields, like this one here, for example. But I would then right click on the table and update the field or use the update um, table option here next to insert table of figures to make sure that my table is completely up to date. Now, I really hope that you have found this video tutorial to be useful. If you have, hit that like button and feel free to comment below to let me know what your experience with creating table of figures has been to this point. Do you do it manually and will you now use this automatic feature or is there another way that you prefer to do it? Of course, if you haven't already done so, please do hit that subscribe button to support the channel. I've got plenty of other Microsoft Word for Mac and Microsoft Word video tutorials on my YouTube channel and here are a couple of video and play playlist recommendations that I think can help you take your Word experience to the next level. Thanks again for watching.